Give us your name. Hi, I'm Mayar Nagib and I work for Intel in Egypt. And tell us a little bit about what it's been like in Egypt for the last oh, month and a half. Wow, well the last month and a half in Egypt have been very interesting. They've, Egypt has been undergoing a lot of change. Um, it's been moving to, from extreme, you know, government state, you can't talk bad about the government, to the other side of free press, right? Now it's like people who were completely um, tied their hands, talk about everything, and they let out their thoughts freely to, to, to an, another extreme that did not ever exist in, in Cairo or in Egypt before. So it's very interesting to see all these changes happen. Uh, with the political situation, with the economic situation. Um, like I said, lots of change, lots of interesting times, and there's definitely more to come because we're still undergoing change. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <gasps> How are people getting their news now? How has that changed? Um, that's, a, that's a good question because uh, previously um, Facebook, Internet has always been, I mean, in Egypt, it's always been big. Uh, at least for the younger population. Egypt has a vast young population and they are mostly on the internet and they're very tech savvy or at least they like to you know um, blog, they like to download music, download movies which is definitely part of inter internet, internet usage models. But ever since the revolution um, Facebook in particular has played a major role in, in the revolution itself. It's basically it was the catalyst or, or, or the inducer of the revolution. It's how it, this whole thing started on the January 25th. And um, when the government cut off uh, all communication methods, which was internet, which was um, cell phones, people were so furious and just like mad about from, from, of the government doing that, that they actually, when we were all cut off in Egypt, we were trying any possible way to still get our thoughts outside to the outside world. So if I had a, rel a relative or a friend call in um, just to check up on us, we'd, uh, we'd be telling them, go ahead and tweet that they're killing the people in Tahrir Square. Go ahead and, and blog about um, them uh, catching journalists and not having you know, uh, uh, media able to, to catch all of this. Go ahead and say that this is unacceptable. We want the regime gone. It was it was crazy blogging, crazy tweeting, mad Facebooking, to an extent that when when the, the when when all communications were back on again, um, the numbers went up like mad. And just to give you a perspective of some of the numbers, uh, just in the 18 days of a revolution in Egypt, we got an increase of 1.9 million internet users in Egypt. So that that's 18 days, right? How do you get two million people to suddenly to log on to the internet because of one big incident? That just to show, shows you because Facebook and internet is very important in Egypt. If you're not online, you're, you're missing out on a lot. If you're not online, you don't get your news. People are relying on Facebook to get their news because Egyptian television these days is not very a very credible source. Uh, if you go to the satellites, then they're a bit, you know, uh, too biased to yeah go for a revolution go bring it down so people are really logging on to Facebook to get their news I, I myself do that all the time like uh, I'm not in Egypt right now and what I do is I log on to Facebook on my Blackberry to find out what's happening because I I'm not on t I'm not in front of the TV and I definitely can't see a newspaper right now uh, other numbers is um, we had a 20% increase in, in Facebook users just over the past few days and just so you can imagine 24,000 new pages or groups on Facebook have been uh, created that are all around you know the situation in Egypt how you should become more politically aware what you should do to, to help the country how you should help clean how you should help you know educate people it's just it's um, very interesting times like I said uh, it just shows how communication is so important at times like this technology helps you know um, you get your message outside, not just to the outside world, but to the rest of the population in Egypt. Um, the youth in particular are very excited. They're all very, we always say, proud to be Egyptian. Um, trying to rebuild the economy, 
trying to rebuild the country, we're all there for Egypt and we want to make sure it's a better place in the future.